be back in Edinburgh. I missed the festival last year because I had a baby and I brought her with me this year. She's 13 months old now, so we've got to get on because she's in the car. <laughs> I have two of them now. I have two of the children and my boy, is, he's six. What a glorious age six is. That lovely age where he'll say to me, Mummy, Mummy, can we play Harry Potter? I'm like, of course I can, my darling. And I'll lock him in a cupboard under the stairs <laughs> for the summer. I'm a single mum, ladies and gentlemen. My children are with two different fathers, and I'm not with either father, and i would never even seen a whole episode of Jeremy Kyle <laughs> before. And I've been thinking, why did I end up in this situation? It's not what I planned. And I think it's because I'm not very good at ending relationships. I find having a baby sort of just neatly, cleanly <laughs> draws a line without any awkward conversation. <laughs> when you are a single mum giving birth in an NHS hospital, all the staff, all the health workers automatically assume that you're a lesbian and they are so cool about this that you know they've been on a course. <laughs> they have been on a don't bat an eyelash course, don't ask any questions. They were extra hospitable to me on the ward. They put a rainbow bedspread <laughs> on the bed and a pair of very comfortable shoes. And it was delightful to see, actually, because it's taken us so long to get that kind of equality for gay people. It was only this year that the same-sex marriage bill was passed. And the night it was passed, my mother rang me. She was all jubilant because she was out in Soho celebrating with my brother. Because uh, my brother's going to be gay. <laughs> when my dad dies... <laughs> You know, being a female comedian at the festival, you get interviewed and journalists always say to me, is it harder being a female comedian than a male comedian? Is it harder? And I don't know, I've never been a male comedian. <laughs> I don't wake up in the morning and go, look, I'm a woman again, right? But this job, stand-up comedy, right? We put our egos on the line for rejection. All the time, we get live rejection. And I think more men stick at this job because, come here, I think men are more used to rejection. <laughs> You know, you are the ones that have to put yourselves out there and you're not allowed to cry. I asked a guy out once, he said, no, I didn't talk to a man again for seven years. <laughs> but you men, I've seen you, you've got to steal yourself from very young ages, age 15, 16, 25. You go out to a club, you have a few beers, you go up to some girl and go, oh, would you, will you uh, have a drink with me? Oh no, you laughed at me, uh, clearly you're out of my league. Um, <laughs> what about you, would you, all oh, my friends are watching. Oh. Pop my collar. Will you, oh no, you all laughed at me too and did that to imply that I had a little cock. <laughs> Will you go out with me? Oh no, not you, darling. I'm not that desperate. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when a young, promising female comedian, she gets rejected by the audience so they won't laugh, she is more likely to walk off going, okay, plan B, I'll be a teacher. <laughs> but a young, promising male comedian, if he dies on stage and no one laughs, he is more likely to walk off and go, whew, that audience. Lesbians. <laughs> we don't give men enough credit for what your egos have to put up with, right? When I was 18, I was in a nightclub and these lads were laughing at my legs. You got fat legs. <laughs> now, I don't care. Look, this is what my legs are for, right? Age 18, I cried. I ran in the loot and cried. Other people, women, came in, were well, not even my friends, to console me. They're like, babe, do you know why I said that? Because you got beautiful skin. You got beautiful skin, you know, you can't have you, and she got beautiful skin. That's what you say to fat girls. <laughs> I came out that loo feeling like a million dollars, right? In the history of mankind, it has never been socially acceptable for a man to stand in a pub or nightclub toilet going, <laughs> <laughs> She's out of my little willy. <laughs> and if he did, other men would not come in to console him, going, Mate, come here, what she said to you? Oh, she's talking rubbish. You got a lovely willy. <laughs> get in here, lads, get in here. Tell him what, what, who wants to fight? Oh, mate, it's bigger than mine. <laughs> you have been delightful, thank you very much.